Alrighty, let's go ahead and get back to the lesson. Now we're doing a new um, subchapter. We are doing 6.2, Trigonometry of Right Triangles. I love this lesson. It's all about Sokotoa. Sine opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine adjacent over hypotenuse. Tangent opposite over hypotenuse. And these are the reciprocal functions. So the reciprocal of sine is cosecant. So all you do is flip it. That's what you get right there. Of cosine is uh, secant. And then you just flip it. And you get h over a. Cotangent, it's a reciprocal function for tangent. You flip them too, and you get that. Example one, we have this triangle here. This is considered theta. Here it says find the six trick functions of theta. We're not using our calculators for these steps. We're just simply looking at it and creating um, ratios. Sine of theta, according to this, the sine is considered opposite over hypotenuse. Opposite meaning opposite side. The opposite side of theta is two. And it's over hypotenuse. In this case here, this will be your hypotenuse. If you want to label first, you can do that so, so you don't have to worry about um, doing anything else. But here, I just label it all for you. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, so 2 over 3. Cosine is adjacent, so it's a side next to the angle that is radical 5 over hypotenuse, and that's radical 3. So you're always looking at the um, information up here to um, solve for these. Your tangent is considered your opposite side over your adjacent side. So opposite is 2, adjacent is radical 5. In, on your booklet it says to leave it like that. I wouldn't want you to leave it like that. So you need to continue and rationalize the denominator, meaning you multiply it by the denominator. In this case your answer would be 2 radical 5 over whole number 5. And that's how I would want all your answers. If you're giving me radicals, it is wrong. That means you're not watching the videos. You're not um, doing everything accordingly. So I prefer like this, easier, it makes more sense for math. Cosecant, it's a reciprocal of sine. So I have two thirds here, that means I flip it. It's gonna be three over two. Secant, reciprocal of cosine, I flip it. I get three over radical five, meaning you have to rationalize it. You get three radical five over five. Cotangent, tangent is two over um, radical five, so that means going to be radical 5 over 2. You don't have to rationalize the denominator there. So make sure you always look at denominators. If it's a numerator, that's fine. Then that's all your answer here. Example 2, they want you to sketch a triangle and find all the six trig functions. The only thing that they gave us was that the cosine of this angle is considered 3 over 4. If we were to draw a triangle, I'm going to draw like this. They said the acute angle will be that fancy symbol there. I actually didn't catch the name for it. I should have. But here, this is a fancy um, angle here. They're saying the cosine of that angle is 3 over 4. I know cosine, if I go back here, is adjacent side over hypotenuse. So if I draw my triangle out, the adjacent side would be this. The hypotenuse now is 4. All I need to find is that measurement right there because you need all three sides to find all your six trig functions. Now, to find that side, the best thing we can use is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. One side is 3 squared, the next side is x squared, and your hypotenuse is 4 squared. Then you get 9 plus x squared equals 16. Subtract both sides by 9. x squared is equal to, I believe, 7. Yep, 7. And then you square root both sides, and you get x is equal to radical 7. Now from all your three sides you can go ahead and find all the trick functions. The only thing that they gave us was cosine so I'm just going to leave it there. Your side of that um, of this angle sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite is radical 7, hypotenuse is 4 and that's your answer. Cosine was what we have, tangent opposite over adjacent, which would be radical 7 over 3. Next one, cosecant. You find um, the reciprocal of sine, which is 4 over radical 7. Rationalize it. 4 radical 7 over 7. And that's your, 
cosecant, secant, reciprocal of the cosine, which will be 4 over 3. You flip it. Cotangent, same thing. You flip it. When you flip it, you get 3 over radical 7. Rationalize the denominator. And therefore, you get those answers. So then this will be your answers for all of these. On your homework, I will ask for specific kinds. I can't have you write all of these three for your homework assignment. Here, we have the two special triangles, and after that, we're done. Here we have the 45, 45, 90. What's unique about this is here, the sides or the legs are congruent, meaning they are the same measurement. If this is seven, this is considered seven as well. So if you find one leg for the 45, 45, 90, you have the measurement of the other one. And also for the hypotenuse, it's one of your leg times radical two. So like I said, if one of your leg is seven, it would be seven times radical two, which would be seven radical two. Here, 30, 60, 90 is where it's slightly different. You're always looking for your small leg first. Your small leg is the most important part of this lesson. Your small leg is always the opposite side of 30. So 30 is right here. If you draw an arrow to the opposite side, this is your small side. And that's what you should always look for for 30, 60, 90. Once you identify your small leg, you can use anything here. You can find anything here just using your small leg. Here, we're just saying small leg is x. To find your large leg, which is opposite from the 60 degrees, it's your small leg, so whatever your small leg is, and it's multiplying into radical 3. And your hypotenuse is double the size of your small leg. And the, the key phrase here, again, is small leg. I have x here, but you know you need to find what the small leg is. If you don't have the small leg, you have to use these type of um, formulas to find that small leg. But you have to look for that leg first. So these are little bit tricks to help you find different sides because it all deals with um, trigonometry. We're going to deal more with it later for tomorrow's lesson. Have a good day.